At the southern edge of Mesopotamia, where rivers once split into shifting channels, and the land rose and fell with the tides, archaeologists are rethinking how the world's first cities came to life. For generations, the story of Sumer seemed settled. Around 3500 BC, people in southern Mesopotamia built cities like Ur and Eridu, invented writing and organized labor, and laid the foundations of civilization through human ingenuity alone. But new research suggests something else was quietly shaping those cities from the start. Recent studies combining archaeology, sediment analysis, and environmental modeling show that early Sumerian settlements were positioned along dynamic river systems influenced by tidal rhythms from the ancient Persian Gulf. These were not stable rivers. Water arrived predictably, but never permanently. Instead of forcing rigid control over the landscape, early Sumerians adapted to it. Cities grew where fresh water, fertile silt, and access to trade routes briefly aligned. When rivers moved, people moved too, rebuilding temples, canals, and neighborhoods on slightly higher ground. Archaeologists can see this today through stratigraphy, the stacked layers of soil that record repeated construction and abandonment. This helps explain why early Sumerian cities look less like planned grids and more like living organisms, constantly adjusting to their environment. Civilization didn't simply conquer nature here. It learned to ride its rhythms. That realization changes how we understand the birth of cities. Sumer was not just a triumph of organization and technology, but a long experiment in cooperation with a powerful and unpredictable landscape. If discoveries like this fascinate you, subscribe to Dig Drops for daily archaeology stories so you don't miss the next big find.